1858, patronage and craft excellence were at the heart of Nathaniel Curzon's vision for Kedleston Hall. Kedleston has a rich history of silversmithing, superb Robert Adam design and exotic artefacts collected from around the world by Lord Curzon. Studio Silver Today is an exhibition created by the National Trust and the Worshipful Company of Goldsmiths, an ancient craft guild and champion of modern silversmithing. Silversmith Teresa Nyan is exhibiting her magnificent silver objects and is demonstrating and explaining her craft to visitors. Teresa will create a splendid silver tumbler for a prize draw. I think the really rewarding and revealing aspect of the project was re-exploring the house with Teresa. I've been here for 10 years, I thought I knew this house quite well, um, but the more that we went around and looked at the different objects and surfaces and talked about um, how they were made, the materials they were made from and the different motifs, and it really is the more one looks around a house like this and reads all the objects and surfaces and symbols, the more there is to pick up and enjoy and think about. So it's been a great experience for me to be able to do that. Along it's such fun you. unwrapping these things because you know I know her work and then you see an old friend and you have another look at it in a different context. She's called the Beaker Eastern Journeys and she's already raise, raising the form and then chased on it are going to be her lovely evocations of this house. But she will also explain to the public all the different techniques that she uses and so for the first time they'll be able to understand how that's come about. My initial reaction to Kedgerson when I first walked in was that it just had this sense of kind of vastness of space and I, I guess I was overawed by the whole conception of the, the place. There's so much to absorb in terms of details and the contrast within the house as well. You have this very opulent neoclassical building but then also on the ground floor you have the Eastern Museum which sits very quietly. She is such a dexterous craftsman and she has this incredible creative talent as you can see it's such a variety of different designs at such a young age which is wonderful. Oh, 19 when you made that. That's amazing. Part of my research as the artist in residence at Kedderston I've been able to really delve into handling these objects and really absorbing all the different techniques that were involved in actually making these objects. For me, this piece just kind of danced off the table when I first saw it. And I fell in love with it because it has that sense of romance about it. It's um, in the Rococo style. It reflects nature with these encanthus leaves coming down and just swirling around the piece. And just the attention to detail as well. So I just picked up on all the different details around the house and in the library in particular, I just love the exquisite gold detailing just on the spine of the books and for me they just sit like gems in the bookcase and then through the saloon just here. I think the first thing that kind of really struck me was just the execution of the perfect curve in this space. The oak floorboards, the mahogany doors and even the paintings on the wall, they're all curved to follow the curvature of the walls. The post of the state bed has a real significance in the design of my tumbler and the organic motif forms a backdrop to my design. I think I was initially drawn to the contrast between the mahogany wood and the gold detailing. It really kind of came to life to me. But this room in particular for me, it just, it had this aura that really kind of carries me to those remote civilizations um, where these objects were produced and crafted. So with this lacquer box here, it has um, a scene of a kind of rural landscape. One of the details I picked up on particular was this uh, branch of a, a blossom tree, which then I transported into my design of the beaker. Yeah. 
But I think if people come and see the exhibition, see the beaker, see Teresa's work, and then go around the house with the same sort of questions in their mind, suddenly this suite of rather wonderful, but often slightly sort of cold and detached rooms becomes a lot more interesting. It's only when you start to slow down and, and that you see the intricacies of all the details, right down to the fittings and fixtures of the furniture. We have been the greatest patron of modern silver. We're now in a house which reflects patronage, but patronage in the sense of the past. And what we're now seeing is the National Trust taking the role of being patron. It's really to physically demonstrate the historic link between the ancient craftsmen and how the technical approach of those craftsmen to the present day are very much the same. I think it's a wonderful way to continue a great tradition which really relates to the essence of what this property is all about.